back playing Temtem. It's been like a week. This is your captain, George. Um, Jadu. Right, let's do this. Oh my gosh. We yep, it's were... been some time. Not oh, a whole yeah. lot, but a little while. It's been a while since oh, we great. played Tem. Oh, platy pets. Oh, oh, can we pet you? Oh man, we got some platy pet on um, platy pet action. Oh. Uh, I am going to do like no damage with this guy. Nesla. You go out and do it, and do it. I think electric. You're switching is, already. I think electric is strong as water. Is it? Pop uh, quiz. I believe so. Makes sense. Uh, it is in Pokemon. Let's see if it is in Temtem. I actually kind of forgot. Uh, but we're back playing Temtem. If you're just joining us and you have not watched our previous episodes, uh, uh what are you doing, man? Thing. Go back and watch. <laughs> no, we're like in <laughs> the um, we're in Tuma in the mines of Michuan, searching for it's not something. A <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is a Tuma. <laughs> oh, oh my god, all got oh my god, I did, I did damage to you. Zapped. That's not cool. Oh shit, yeah. Oh my gosh. E oopsie, oopsie doopsie. Well, my Nessa's well I'm gonna almost... have to uh, cure myself. Yeah, 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 you gotta heal yourself. All right, um, get I'm trying to remember. We beat, we beat King, Max King, in the last King, episode. Remember Max? What's that? Remember Max? We kicked his ass in the last episode. Max? Oh. Oh my gosh. He Maxi deserved pad. it too. He was such a, such an asshole. Hopefully that wasn't in the first minute because supposedly you're not. Oh my goodness. To... Oh my god. This oh my encounter, right? goodness. There's more platypets. Oh wow, my god. Wow, didn't we just beat you guys? I'm having a Back weird. Back for some more. Yeah, a weird sense of deja vu. Deja vu. Uh, I had that the other day. Of course, it wasn't like. Did you really? An actual real thing. It was just the fact that, I guess it is kind of like a deja vu because, um, it happened the same way but just in a different day or something. Like, I was going out the door, and somebody was coming in. It was the exact same person, twice in a row, two oh. days in the morning time. Oh really? Yeah. Is it so like, <clears throat> well, I've had like um, the deja vu where it's like, okay, you're probably gonna get hit by lightning, uh, but then I'll kill. I'll, I won't do that to you because <laughs> uh, you're weak to it. Um, I've had the deja vu where you're like, you're you're doing something and this weird feeling. You just feel like you've done this before, even though you know you haven't. Yeah. It's like yeah. everything around you, your environment, you feel like I've lived this before, but that's not the case. Like, and then it's this weird feeling like, is something big gonna happen? I don't know, nothing ever happens. Well, you know what's weirder and creepier is when you feel like something's happening in real life, but then you're thinking, but wait a minute, didn't this happen in a dream? That's supposedly so i remember reading back in a psychology <laughs> book that there's a theory that that feeling of deja vu comes from the fact that you dream something similar and you misremember it and your mind is kind of trying thinks that you've already dreamt that that happened oh, because okay. you know how dreams are hazy already right oh look i got a 50 on stamina oh my Dang. god yeah you should catch the other platy pet go platy pay it i i guess so let's see get yourself a strong duck He's not a duck, he's a platypus. Yeah, he's a... P <laughs> I don't know why you called him a duck. I didn't say that. You said that. Just because he's got a bill, you think he's a duck. It he's is got weak. a tail like a beaver. That's true, he does have a beaver tail. Uh, he's oh my only God. got one good one. Oh, a 50? 48. Uh, HP. That's okay. Um, so JD and I went to Mile High Con yesterday where we got high as shit. We, went to, <laughs> we smoked so much weed, just kidding. Mile High Con is like an author's convention. Eh. Well, actually, it's not really an author's convention, it's just a sci-fi. It's a literary expo, that's what they called it. A literary expo for yeah. sci-fi and fantasy and horror. <gasps> a Lapinite! I want to catch it. Such a gem. <gasps> that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Oh my gosh, you're so funny. 
Should I put you somebody know, else? You know the sure case of when you're not funny is when someone has to tell you you're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. Actually, your, your, uh, your duck would have been strong against this guy. But I don't want you to kill him anyway. Because melee moves are strong against um, Crystal. Oh. But I don't want fierce. you to kill him because I want to catch him. You want to catch him? I don't have really okay. good lap at night. Do something that's not going to do a lot of damage against him. Actually, uh, you could just rest and I'll... I'll, I'll... Fine. Gosh. I'll just do this and then I'll catch take him. over the show here, huh, George? You don't take kill over yourself. Show? Don't kill yourself. Don't kill yourself. Oh, you didn't. Oh my God, you're mine. That was you. If he died, it was all on you. That's true. That would have <clears> been my fault. But yeah, we went to the convention for fiction and horror and bought like 50 books. It was like one of those things where we went because every table. We went to every you have, table. You have and to click spoke to, to like rest everybody. or something. That yeah, we, we spoke to everyone. <laughs> and it's like, you know, I was talking to the authors, like, oh, how'd you write the book? Asking all these questions. So I felt bad not buying their book. I was like, well, I spent like 15 minutes talking to it's you. It's a struggle, man. Ooh, it's real. Look at, those, look at those stats. Oh, nice. And he's got electric synthesize. When attacked with an electric technique, restore HP instead of receiving damage. That's why he's look. got this smirk on his face. He's like, I'm good. Uh, I'm going to name him. Hold on. I got to get next to the keyboard. Uh, Goonie. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> hey, you guys. That wasn't even the Goonies that said that. That was the other guy. Or right. was he a Goonie or not? He yeah, became they, a goonie. They officially like let him in, right? They were like, yeah, okay, they're like, yeah. Wait, where? How do we get up there? Oh my god, George! Oh my god! Oh my god! Map. Oh, it's oh at the god. other end. Wow, we walked the total wrong way. Do I have like something that, was that will? Fun. Oh, do I have? Oh, I do have a scent. Uh, reduces un untamed encounters. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we're gonna get skunky smell. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, like our dog. Our dog stinks. Like, I can smell him from over here. <laughs> Why are you so mean to puppy? Oh my god. He needed a bath. Like, it's nobody's business. Fine. We'll so, we totally went bath. the wrong way last time, by the way. We're supposed to go up, not. Oh no, what happened? Uh. What? Oh, for crying out. Curator. Curator. Where is he? Oh, for crying out loud. How many times do you have to say this? This is a prime archaeological site. No mining, no skulking around here. No skulking. The stone staircase has been here for millennia and it needs to be left alone until we can protect it properly. Well, we gotta what get somewhere, man. <clears throat> Where is he? Is he a ghost? I didn't even see him. He walked up to us. What are you talking about? You didn't see him walk up to us in his little hot shorts? Alright, look. I'm like super high right now, so... <laughs> <laughs> Such a liar. What is that? Or Clura? A Clura. It's like somebody inside a fursuit or something. It does look like a kid wearing a Halloween costume, right? Oh my god, Halloween's coming up. So put in the comments, we're thinking of doing a, uh, for Halloween, a, um, uh, some scary games. If you want to see us play something s -s -s spooky, let us know. S -s -s spooky. We're going to play some Scooby-Doo games. Oh, please. Really? There's so many Scooby-Doo games, by the way. If you go, maybe not recently, oh, shit. Okay. but if you look at older systems, use your melee move if you have one. The one a where he was like hitting move. him, yeah, hitting got, him with that's forks. Gonna, yeah. The, the size. Yeah. Not forks, they're actually sides. <laughs> forks. <laughs> <laughs> chop, 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 chop. Ow. Actually, that would have been Poking strong against Oklura, now that I'm thinking about it. Oopsie. Oh no, I killed myself. Because Typhu is nature, not crystal type. Yeah. I should use my toxic move against Typhu. What am I doing? What is wrong Ow. with me? Ow. 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 Uh, Oklura. Oklura Rift. Oh my god, we should do some VR games. I have no idea how to record VR games. Yeah, you gotta figure out how to do that. Cause... The, we should not record the screen, just record me in the like, VR headset swinging my arms around. <laughs> <laughs> I'll record like, this is the yeah, worst let's play around. ever. <laughs> like, Tripping over the here? dog and just knocking everything off of shelves. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh my gosh, I haven't played VR in forever. Not ever since we got our dog. I could do it, but I just Have we played bad. at all in here? I mean, you, you like drill played... these things up, the sensors. Oh, the sensors, yeah. You drilled them up there for the purpose of, yeah, playing. But have we ever played in this apartment? <laughs> since uh, we moved we have, yeah. We played oh, we before oh, we got the dog way back when. Oh, um, I don't even remember that, man. What's strong as flying? I think electri electric is strong as flying, right? Uh, you're asking me? I'm like... I think so. It's electric. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. I gotta stop doing that. I've done that joke where I sing the electric slide like a thousand times every That's time I say electric. That's your quirk. 
Oh wow, you destroyed them. Oh, they're level 21. Oh, they're such a Well, level... you feel bad now? Oh. Should I feel bad that I did that to them? Yeah, you freaking... I mean, I thought the point was to kick this Picking guy's the... ass. Yeah, it's really his fault when his hot shorts for some... <laughs> Look at this guy, little hot shorts. Can I get a pair? You want... Where'd you get those? <laughs> you, you like it when guys wear hot shorts? I no. need to heal up on my snails and my Nestle. Give me one second here. Do I have any bombs? Can I get a bomb? Can I get a bomb? <laughs> That's what, the start what? of a song. Can I get a what? What? Oh, I got one of these. Uh, but yeah, we bought so many books. So guess what, guys? We're going to cut down our Let's Plays because I'm just going to have to read all day. I got a lot of reading to do. You're going to... Oh, what the hell? Which actually, oh, a few of them okay, did sound go. pretty interesting. And it's oh, that's why you of, bought them. It's kind of inspiring, too, because you go there and you meet these authors who are, like, in their 40s who just published their first book, and you're like, oh, I could do that. Oh, well, I like, definitely got motivated to write, for sure. Yeah. I'm going to hit you, the ground running. Do you want to catch this lap in there for yourself? Says, what? You, oh, want me to catch it? If you want to. Um, but, yeah, I hit the ground running. You know, the only thing, here's George's inspirational speech. Bum, bum, bum. Inspiration. Inspo. Inspiration. The only thing stopping you is yourself. If you want to do something, go out there and do it. So you should uh, throw your temp card now. Thanks, he's, Dad. He's in the yellow. Thanks, Dad. Look at the stars. Look how they shine for you. Why are you singing that? Because he's in the yellow. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that was Coldplay's yellow, if you don't know. What I was trying uh, to say. Oh, he's got some good stuff. He's got some good stuff. Okay. Oh, got a good one. Why well, he's got a three he, for special attack. He's a keeper. Well, but you could breed. Got... You could breed him with someone who has strong special attack, and right? then that's that's the idea of the breeding. At a certain point, I, soon we're gonna get back to the breeding center, and we're gonna have a lot of decisions to make about who we want to breed with who. It's kind of messed up because I noticed that we breed the parents with the children, right? Sometimes, <laughs> or brothers and sisters. But you know what? What's even worse is like, okay, this is a game. We breed Temtem together in the same family tree here, fine. But they do that with dogs in real life, which is really sad. Um, yeah. You gotta be careful, like those kennel clubs. I mean, I know people, some people really like to get purebred dogs. But you really have to be careful of those kennel clubs because they want to keep the breed pure. So they'll breed them with brother, you know, cousins, brothers, Very parents. Very such a well. It's it's kind of messed up, really, because <laughs> we want a dog to look a certain way. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's well, they so, develop all these diseases and illnesses and ailments and all yeah, this crap. Yeah, I mean, not to get too. I don't know if that's really political to, or anything, but it's like you know they should just crack down and be like, okay. You can't just inbreed dogs. Uh, oh wow, he used up all his family. Oopsie. Uh, well, you're. Uh, Overachiever. I'm gonna do my su 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 tsunami. Su su tsunami. Is that it's a like studio? Studio. Hey. <laughs> what is studio? Do you know what that song is about? A woman. Named Studio? It's a type of woman. Uh, is it really? Yeah. Like, that's what he was. That's what Phil Collins was explaining in some interview. Yeah, yeah. Susudio is some type of woman. Really? Wow. I want to write a song that just makes up words. <laughs> I can explain <laughs> it later. <laughs> <laughs> just Su make it make up a song called Snurga Snurf and be like, and then like ten years later they'll be like, what does Snurga Snurf mean? And I'll be like, well, it's that feeling you get when you um. Don't know what you want to do with your life, and I don't know. That sounds depressing. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, George, got dark hair. Uh, I mean, everyone has those feelings every once in a while, right? Where you're like, I don't know what I want to do with my life. Everything's bothering me. What is it wants to go? And then hopefully you snap out of it, right? Yeah, I mean, I get that sometimes. So, yeah, especially I think now that does. my birthday's coming up, oh, it's like well, getting uh, older is the worst. You start to think, like, you know, am I in the place where I'm supposed to be? Oh am I getting doing the older right thing? Sucks. And blah, blah, blah. Guys, getting older is the worst. Don't do it. If you can avoid it, don't do it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Take some weird, like, Tom Cruise youth potion to just keep you young forever. Right. Sleep standing up. I think sleeping standing up is what Tom Cruise does. 
I feel like I've heard sleeping that rumor. Sleeping standing up. Sleeping sitting up in an upright position. What are you talking is, about? I don't know. I'm losing my mind. No, I heard there's some Tom, Tom Cruise does some weird stuff to like keep himself young, supposedly. Sure. It's I've possible. never heard of that. He sleeps upside down like a bat. He hangs <laughs> upside down. That way he doesn't get uh, any wrinkles. Jeez. <laughs> wrinkles are caused by gravity. Attic. Well, he has to do one day right side up and the other day upside down so that wrinkles even out. So there's no so gravity's not pulling him too much in either direction. Does that make sense? Yeah, no. Uh, <clears throat> sounds I don't know right. About that. Tom Cruise, if you're a fan, write in the comments what you do to stay young. Yeah, sure. Tom Cruise wastes his time going on YouTube watching Let's Plays. Hey, like, uh, oh, it seems I was right. Schwinn's horn fits perfectly in here. Oh, I thought uh, I, didn't you equip that to your Saku? Yeah, I did. Voila, and it's open. Oh, he knows French. I should. I just want to repair it to the gear master of the Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, I can repair the narwhal now. You like my French accent? Yeah, voulez-vous coucher avec moi? <laughs> Ça soir. Oh, we're going. Was in. that the Christina Aguilera song, the one that was for Moulin Rouge? Yeah, but that's not the original song, you know it's, that, right? It's like a disco song, right? Yeah, From it's an older song. They just took it and destroyed it. Destroy. Oh, I got to report back to this lady. Are we back to where we started? Or uh huh. The... Uh, oh, what a weird ass What does this guy have to say? <clears throat> he looks so dull. So you heard that. If you're here complaining about the late orders and failure to deliver stuff, I'm very sorry. There's nothing we can do. <laughs> so the miners goes resumes work. We already talked to this guy. Uh, okay. Okay, what are we doing? We got to talk to this lady, Guildmaster okay. Jitsiri. Here, you do the voice of Jitsiri. Jitsiri. We uh, all have the exact same hair. <laughs> all three of nice. us. Nice, <laughs> we go to the same salon. Ah, you're back, but the good news precedes you. The miners guild has resumed work on that mother load. They say we're getting our first load of iron today. Depends on the extent of the damage. We'll know when we start working on it. I'll let my artisans know that we have ore and gems to work with. How I long to hear the forges roar again, the hammers sing over smoldering metal. Oh, she's a poet. <laughs> Uh-oh. Adia. Oh, wow. Less poetry, more metallurgy. Captain Turi. <sighs> no, I'm the Shogun of Sepanku. What? I was starting to think you deserted us. Why do I'm doing such a deep voice for this lady? <laughs> what the down below took you so long? Well, mm. ah. And you had one job, Captain George. You Guild had one master. job. How long will that take? The narwhal should already be in Kisewa. What exactly do you need? How's your structural integrity? <sighs> Critical damage to the secondary beam. Severe damage to the gondola. And one of the engines. Mm. I almost burped right into the mic. Did like a uh, <laughs> uh, Rick Sanchez. But the most most of the canopy is okay, and the trestle frame survived the crash. Spare secondary beams and gondola modules, then, and an auxiliary engine. Standard tools for the rest. We can handle that. I'll need your engineer for the exact specs. When I'm Matthew? Oh no, that's not when I'm Matthew. She's Just one dead, but I know them by heart. <sighs> Well, what are you doing? Just stand there, Captain George. I'll stay here and handle the repairs. You go attend to your other tasks. Mm. Captain George, where's One-Eyed Matthew? Weren't you two together? <laughs> uh, a long story. Cut it short, then. He's in jail. <sighs> what? Why? He... I said cut it short. You need to get him out. This is not about you, Captain George. Get to the prison <laughs> and free my first officer quickly. <laughs> you. Mm. You don't talk back to your captain, Captain George. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, snappy. I like how she's calling me captain, too. And you don't leave your comrade wow. behind. Go for one and Matthew. She says now. it twice. The narwhal can't sail without his first officer. Narwhal, narwhal. Swimming in the ocean. You gotta, you gotta do like the voice he does where he's like, Narwhal, narwhal. Wow. That was really loud. I probably spiked like on the mic. The sound capture probably <laughs> went crazy. I don't think that's how it goes. I actually kind of startled myself by yelling. I gotta go heal my Tem Tem. <laughs> uh, my Tem Tem are not doing so hot. <clears throat> they need healing. Chicken. Uh, let's go heal. Um, so I guess we gotta get One-Eyed Matthew out of prison. One-Eyed Willy. One-Eyed Willy. Wasn't that the name of an octopus? That was, wasn't it? The octopus? Wasn't that the name? Wasn't that from It Takes Two, One-Eyed Willy, the octopus? No, I'm losing it now. Never mind. Forget what I'm talking about. I have no idea. 
I'm losing my mind. One-Eyed Willy, that was like Goonies too. Was it? Yeah. The, that was the name of the octopus and the Goonies? That was the captain. The captain was an octopus? <laughs> Jay is <laughs> ready to throw something so at me. Screwed. He's like, I hate you. I'm trying to correct you because you don't know anything. Um, uh, isn't one eyed Willy like a penis reference? Um, maybe. That sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> one eyed monster, I believe, is a penis reference. Uh, oh, that one's for sure. So there's an exclamation point here. So I'm assuming we need to go there. Let's do that. Why is there a question mark? I don't know. I talked to the guy that had a question mark and he was not super helpful. So um, that stays a question. Like, what was the point? Right. Uh, let's see what's over here. I kind of forgot. We had to get someone at the bar. Is this the bar? A bar? Yeah, we had to steal We're gonna something. We're going to go chill at the bar. Who's this guy? Temtem -tem Connoisseur. Looks moody. Hello, Tema. Careful a little chat. It will alleviate the horrible tem tedium of waiting for my airship. Okay. Uh, where are you going? Back home to Arisola Paisano. I detect you might be from Zadar by your accent. What unexpected serendipity. Uh, what do you do? I am a Temtem Foncier, a collector, an enthusiast of rare and precious Temtem. I've been collecting here in Tuma, and my crystal collection is quite complete now, I believe. My only regret is that I'm going home without a specimen of the delightful Baigu. It is exceedingly difficult to find these days. Uh, I guess we'll get you a baigu. Oh, would you? Why would we do that? We're busy. They would be mighty kind of you, my dear tamer. I still have some time until my flight, so if you could purvey a healthy baigu, you shall be handsomely rewarded for it. Ooh, what does that mean? Uh, I don't know. Who are these guys? Travel agent. Where are we? Oh, you could get tickets. Uh, one Ticket attempt what? A uh, no, I'm marking. Just looking. See you. Uh, I guess you want to take it for an airship. Um, Tourist BCU. guide. Okay. Uh, I guess you can take airships out of here. I guess that's how we go back to like the breeding center and all that other stuff. Oh. Uh, mm. See, there's airships all over the place here. Uh, we don't have a baigu, I don't think. Bigu, baigu. Where's the Do bar? We need to go to the bar. Is this the bar? What's well, the good the as a Jaguar map? The Jaguar Lounge. This is it. We got to steal a key from someone here, I believe. Steal a key? Let's take a seat as soon as I get done peeling this mango. Killing this mango? <laughs> <laughs> die, mango, die, die, die. <laughs> Very psycho. Eek, eek, eek. That was a good psycho impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, buddy. Join us for a round? Uh, I can't say yes. I like this guy just shaking his shoulders. Like, tune, tune. Uh, to something. Tem tem up. Drunk tem. Don't make fun of my. I want tem tem it. Tem tem. Whoa. <laughs> She's high. Hello. She is high. Do you make keys? Hello. Hello. Why do you ask? Uh, just making small talk. <laughs> Makes sense. Cheers. Steal the key. Oh my head. Oh, uh, nice. I got the cell we key. We got it. We got it. We got it. Oh, we can go let out that prisoner. Oh, let's go. Let's go rescue her. Zoe, it's not time to discuss anything. I'm busy. <laughs> 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 oh my God, so many drunk people. That's a bar for you. Oh my God. Apparently, that's what they think. Everybody gets drunk, not yeah. just drink responsibly. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you know, in I want to say like RPGs from the Super Nintendo era. Like, I'm gonna say it was either Final Fantasy or Dragon Quest or some of those. They always show people drinking root beer in bars and taverns. And because I guess they didn't want, like, oh, because they're root seriously beer. drinking beer. Uh, no I mead or ale or. Right? You gotta drink that mead. Um, there he is. He's in this one. Uh, I'm on it. Uh, how do I free convince the captain to free Matthew? Um, what did I have to do again? Uh, convince oh, the oh, I can let this person out. Whoa, she look nasty as shit. Uh, come to laugh at a poor woman in prison for no reason. Are you Talalak? I am, and you are... 
Captain George is a liberator. Yes, thanks, Zolotl. Zolotl, I knew she'd do something. Zolotl. Shh, now shut up and get ready. Just wait until the guard looks the other way. Ryan, go to Zolot. What the down below happened? Captain George, did you just... Did you see how she did that? No idea, Cap. <clears throat> like, get the hell out. Truly, the safety conditions of this place are appalling. We need to set it up. People are waltzing out of here as if it were a temporium. Set it. Step it up. Uh, I don't know how she got out of there. I guess we the just key. turned out the lights. How you, wait, where are you going? I feel like we were guilty as shit. We were standing right next to her while she escaped. Yeah, they were like asking us, like, uh, did you see what happened? And we were like, uh... Um, we're like, yeah, sure. No? Uh, okay. What's our, what else is on our list of things to do? Do we have to go back to where the airship was? Well, there's a bunch of shit here on the right side that says what to do. There is, right? Uh, okay, we're going to pause for one second while I figure out what to do. All uh, right, we're back. Uh, okay, so we, yep. we came back here. We switched out some Temtem. -tem. We figured out what we have to do. Okay, um, we need to go sure? help Oklana. Um, we gotta give her first aid, which she's probably dead by now because we've been doing so many other things <laughs> right, besides giving her death. first aid. <laughs> oh my god. She's like, I was depending on them. Ugh. And she's like, oh my god, I bled out. <laughs> I uh, just died in your uh, arms tonight. Alright, so let's go up here. Uh, I was giving JD some hand signals. I was doing like some baseball. Why hand you signals. stuck your middle finger at me? <laughs> oh. Why? What did I do wrong? I mean, I'm not the best temp tem partner, but you know I try. Oh my God, you are the best temp tem partner. Take it back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so we need to go to Oklahoma's down here, uh, so we can go across the water really to get to her. So I guess We're let's do that. Walk on water. <clears throat> With Shortcut. our board. <laughs> uh, oh, I should do the, the, the scent so we don't run into oh, so yeah. many. Uh, Put your skunk on. Yeah, let's think skunk it up. Skunk the smell. Uh, yeah, so um, what were we talking about before? It doesn't matter. We were, I know we were talking about like Halloween at one point or something. Oh, like dressing do you up. have your costume? Of course not. I'm going to dress. I told JD to dress as a Saku for Halloween. And she <laughs> gave me a look like that's dumb. <laughs> That would be a they very don't difficult. Sell that. That would be a very difficult costume to pull off. <laughs> right. Uh, be like this round ball bouncing around. I'm gonna destroy this platy pet. He's gonna. I'm taking him out with my pitcher pack. Yeah. Those wind moves are gonna be super strong. You're not gonna catch him. Uh, I don't think so. Um. Uh, I think I, I will just murder him indiscriminately. Jesus. <laughs> dark, in, dark intent there. Ooh. Sounds like a Law & Order um, <laughs> TV show. Law & Order episode, Dark Intent. Or True Crimes episode. Oh my god. True Crime podcast. The Dark Intent. I uh, used to listen to a lot of True Crime podcasts. Those are so popular, right? They're People love popular. listening to True Crime. They like listening to dark, morbid shit, I guess. Right? He was like, let me describe in details how this person was murdered. <laughs> well, I used to listen to that, like, my favorite murder podcast. Oh, yeah, there were. That's, like, one of the biggest podcasts in the world. They became really big. Yeah. Um, they have good chemistry. That's why I mostly listen to it. Not, yeah. like, you know, the details of the crime because it's kind of gross sometimes. Yeah, well, hopefully people listen to us because of our good chemistry, right? Well, we I mean, did get a comment that says that we have excellent synergy or something. Yeah, synergy is a word <laughs> they used to use like at work all the time. They're like, we need to get synergy going here <laughs> between all the different departments. Um, but yeah, we got we got some synergy going, some chemistry. Some... Synergy was the name of the AI in the cartoon Gem. Was it really? Yeah. Oh, we got another technical course. I never watched Gem. I this is a little before you. Uh, I watched Scooby Doo, and Synergy was the name of Scooby Doo's cousin. Just kidding, that was Scrappy Doo. You're full of crap. <laughs> Takaro, we found Takaro. Yeah, he's, he's over here. But where's uh, Ta oh Talak is here? Okay. Yeah, so they're we're together again. We all can again. have an orgy, yeah. Oh my God, is that what we're doing? <laughs> Here's your reward. And she just starts taking off her pants. 
Or yeah, like, let's go uh, skinny dip can I just get like a, in this acid water. Can I just get a bomb plus instead? What? Oh, we gotta go Where's down. Where's the fun here. in that? Uh, uh, okay, we got her your medicine, Aquana. Oh, somehow she's still alive. Oh. Uh, we got her first aid medicine. Give uh, it to me. <laughs> she's like, um, give it to me now. I'm gonna die. I'm oh, she an gave inch us another life. technique course. Oh my God, we're getting so many technique course. Anger. Held mm -hmm. anger. All that suppressed rage keeps building up until it bursts in a nope of wrath. Whoa. Oh my God, that's anger like what management. happens when I'm driving. Anger <laughs> management. The narwhal is ruined. But at least now we know everyone will survive. At least the ones that are accounted for. Oh, who's great. missing? Who's missing? We haven't found Kamal yet. Nobody has seen him yet. Not a trace of him or his clothes, and that's not good. Wow. He died. <laughs> his clothes. Don't even say that. My friend Kamal is alive. I know it. Quote, unquote. We need to find him, and you're the only one fully mobile right now. So please, can you try to locate him? Uh, I'm pretty sure he's dead, but I can find him your body. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sure. while you're at it. Oh, what she Oops, said. Sorry. Thank you. See, there's someone in Quetzal. You must find her and tell her. Tell her I'm fine. You must be worried. She must be worried about me. Who so is got... this? It's my wife, Izal. She lives in Western Quetzal in one of those fancy geode houses. Ooh. Wow. Okay. It's I love that she rhymes interest. with the city she lives in. <laughs> Just like my name is Denver and I'm from Denver. <laughs> uh, Can you she... do that? I'll find her. Can you? Can you? Excellent, and please ask Azel to help you. She knows the city better than anyone. You got it. Wow, um, she lives in a fancy geode house? I think we missed some items here. We should look around. Uh, oh, really? We did? Uh, yeah, we should look around. There's I believe fire we there. missed some stuff here. Um, didn't we get like a mask or something off us here? Maybe we didn't miss anything. Uh, oh, oh. Hmm. There's, <laughs> this goes pretty far. Oh, there's oh, yeah. someone here on the floor dying. Is that what's his name that we're looking for? Mm. Hey, have, has anyone seen what's his name? Augustine. I said I'm fine. Ouch. Well, mostly. <laughs> Not going to die at least, but my leg could use a splint. Wow, Ooh, he's been sitting there without okay. a splint for. Wow. Must be in pain. There's someone here just staring off into space. Is this Kamal? Oh, Kamal, that's who we're looking for. Kamal. No, nope, terrified two passenger. Here. This one. No, this one's standing there. Is this Kamal? Aching passenger. Uh, Achy, I guess breaky maybe heart. Kamal's not here. But how about the one standing there? Is this one? I just keep talking to people until you find Kamal. No, he's probably not here. He's probably like... Well, let me talk to this person. Kamal's here. probably like at the bar having he's a drink or standing something. spaced out. Who's this? McQueel? Scram, mine, worm. Wow, okay. He's pleasant. Um, did we talk to this person? Terrified passenger. Oh, no, okay. I guess we did get everything. I don't see any more items here. Uh, I, I thought, thought we did. It's just a bunch of luggage and crap all over the place. Okay, so I guess we got everything here. Uh, so let's go explore. We gotta explore the northern... Did you go all the way over here? We gotta sc scout the aisle in the northern Zolot Reservoir. Uh, I think so. There's two people here. Oh, there you are. Is one of them Kamal? I don't know, should I ask? Yeah, that's okay. Uh, so we gotta go Kamal? all the way northern Zolot. Ooh. Oh, up here. I can breathe again! I can breathe clearly now, the smoke is gone. You like that singing? <laughs> <laughs> so high pitched. All right. I can see clearly let's now. Let's go. Uh, hey, oh, let's go. <laughs> um, oh my god. JD and I had the best food truck today. Just kidding. JD hated it. <laughs> that was JD yesterday. was so annoyed. We spent like $25 on tacos and they weren't and even good. 25 minutes in line. 25 minutes in line, $25 on tacos, and they weren't even good. You're like, these tacos suck. It's and like I was like, cold. what's with the accent, JD? And you're like, I don't know. I don't <laughs> like these tacos, not one bit. Um, um, I was trying to decide. And what that to was do. called. That was like uh, some kind of walking tacos or something? Yeah, it was and like. It was these... like cold barbacoa. Mm. It was swimming in liquid. And. A cardboard container. Yeah, and you were like, dude, at least keep this shit warm, motherfuckers. And I was like, damn, you're calling them out. 
Just yeah. kidding. <laughs> we did not call out the people who gave us tacos. No, I mean, we <laughs> Dude, we're too ate nice. as much as we could and tossed it out. The rest out. Well, it was like kind of spicy and they weren't serving drinks too. Another complaint. Oh my god. George's list of complaints. Pay for the drinks, George. Jeez. They didn't have any. They didn't have any drinks. So someone the person in front asked us, Do you have something to drink? And she was like, No bitch. And I was like, God damn, these people are rude. <laughs> You're so crazy. Oh my god. There are no drinks. What kind of food truck is that? Uh, when she was like, it's a food truck, not a drink truck. Dumbass. <laughs> and I was like, damn, calling them out. Shots fired. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, you gonna catch this? Um, oh my god, we've been in. Pad? Sure, I'm gonna throw a card. We've been in Tuma for so long. Are we almost out of here? We have to cure the Tuma. The Tuma. What's <laughs> next after Tuma? Is it. What's the next island? Do you know? I don't know. Me? I don't yeah. know. You, we're waiting for you. Oh, wait a minute. I'm I almost chose. I had to go back and change it. Oh, okay. I was about to kill him. Don't kill him. Actually, it would have been your turn and then me. So I guess yeah. I would have been fine. Didn't I matter. caught me a Psyduck. <laughs> oh, look, he's got good uh, stats. Sweet. Oh, okay. Works out. Sweet. Psyduck, Sweet. Psyduck. Sweet, Jesus. Did you see that they're coming out with a Super Mario movie? Um, did we talk about that yet on here? The Mario movie that the internet freaked out because it was like Chris Pratt doing the voice of Mario. <laughs> and I was like, did he I'm, practice that? I'm pretty sure it's going to be fine. I'm pretty. I guess he's they not really. They got machines that fix voices, so what the hell's? I mean, he, it's going to be fine, guys. Like, I guess he's not going to do like an Italian accent because that would be kind of weird. That would be weird. Yes. Who's this? It's oh. now then. Oh, I remember Nolan. Oh my god, from like 10 episodes ago. You you came to me again. First as a castaway of the falling skies, and now as a rider of the burning waters. And well, again we shall meet, but this is a page from another chapter. You are looking for the one who looks like yourself, and without realizing it, you are also looking for yourself. For you <laughs> and they are but two sides of the same coin, or two edges of the same sword. What they have become, you might have been. What you are growing into, they might yet reach. It is not just power or temtem you shall find, but your own change as a tamer, as a human. <laughs> what are you even talking about? I got about? so existential. In time, you will understand. For now, show me how far along the process you are. Shall judge whether you are ready for the next step of your journey. Okay. Oh, we gotta fight him? Oh, oh no. boy, oh boy. This is not gonna go well. Whoopsie. Damn, George, what I the hell? I didn't know hell? we were going to have to fight this guy. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Is uh, my Bonero well, cool with this? Uh, you should put in someone else. No, yeah. I guess. Um, I don't know. Uh, if you have your side duck, it'll be stronger against that Velash. I took him out, man. You, you told me your, to take him out. You have your Saku? Yeah. He'd be strong against um, this Orphil or Nidrasil. Using your boomerang the toe move. Toe jam medication? Yeah, you could use your boomerang move on Nidrasil. Should be good. Okay. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Puke. Take that. Wow. I wish that Take did more damage. That. Not much. <laughs> Um, all right, bomb plus on you. <laughs> um, I did not fully piggy, piggy, piggy. anticipate a big battle. Oh, he only has four temps, so that shouldn't be too bad. Wow, everyone's okay. picking on me. Why is everyone picking on me? Okay, getting rid of this medication. Oh, Ooh, gosh. wow, he that was strong. Oh my god, I gotta use a bomb plus plus now. Yeah, bomb me too. Plus, bomb plus. On my my Pidgey Pidgey pack. Pidgey Pidgey Pidgey, can't you see? <laughs> Was that like that that rap song? Biggie Biggie Biggie. Yeah, damn. Uh, the notorious B.I.G. They're trying to get Here's me some... out. Oh my they god. Took me out. Damn, because you had those wind moves that would have taken him out. Smart. Um, mm, Nestle. Nestle, quick. Uh, I don't know if you have something that would be strong. Um, I don't know. Your, those crystal moves are going to be strong as Nestle, though. But Nidrasil is done. Oh, why are you still alive? Nope. You suck. Why are you still alive? 
I don't like that. Oh, he killed himself. That's right. You die now. Most of these enemy, uh, enemy temtems, they overdo it. Yeah, they gotta take it down the notch, right? Well, we don't want Sparzy. that. Oh, your Nestle should be good against Sparzy because his electric moves will um, give you health. Yeah, well, um, I need health. So my skunk should take out this Balash because Balash. he's got those melee moves. Take him out. That's a strange name, Balash. Balash, like a Velociraptor. <laughs> was it one of those stories about a Velociraptor? It was about a robot Velociraptor. A robot. At the, that was at the con we were at. Some one of the new authors or whatever wrote a story about a robot Velociraptor. Um, and I was like, that's a pretty interesting idea. It's different. <laughs> we yeah. didn't buy a book, though. <laughs> no, it was a diff unique idea, but we didn't buy it. Um, let me take out Velash. This should do double damage. Okay. Yeah, you're going to have to do something because all I have is one 10-10 left. Whoa, what is that move? Oh. Well, uh, okay, that's the end of me. Wow. That was a strong move. <laughs> that, that did a lot of damage. Sparzy. Yeah, I just got there. Oh my god, now I got a bomb. I don't have anybody again. left. Well, he, he woke up. Uh, apparently you have something left. Oh no, you don't. No, I, I don't. Uh, I don't really have that much left either, so we'll see how this goes. Um, how many Temtems you got left? Two. Two? Well, I have the one I was putting into level up. Um, but he's kind of at a low level. Um, hmm. Maybe I can take out the Velash. But he's still got three left, so I don't know that this is going to work. I don't know about this, guys. I, I don't know. Oh, well, there goes... There goes Pidgepeck. Oh, wow. boy. Oh, boy. This Velash is pretty tough. Um, well, his HP is kind of uh, midway there. Um, that should give some hope. Yeah, but this is not gonna go according to plan. Oh wow, God. this move is so strong. It's like it's not even doing double damage against my. Well, I didn't do anything to my. Uh, well, that's my good Hidagi. to know. Well, that's cool. That worked out for the best, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, Ray can. But your moves are not doing much to him. Mm, no, they're not. Your your platy pet would have been great here. Oh, I got a new move. Well, if they would have gave up. me a chance uh, to show off too. They got uh, rid of me. Hmm. Wow. Uh, you look like a baby. You're Louise there. Yeah, right. My daddy. It's Isn't a baby compared to everybody else with 13? the levels, man. Oh my god, it's going to get destroyed by this Rykan in a second. Um, wow. I mean, I don't stand a chance, really. He's still smiling. He's like, oh, he's well, dead. Not anymore, okay. He was smiling there for a moment. No, he's resting up his Sparzy. Jeez. See if I can take out his Sparzy. Neck uh, punch. Nope. I mean, I was, was hoping close. that would kill him. That was close. Uh, oh, now you got this. Well, he keeps doing that charge filling his move, which keeps killing me. So I guess we're done. Well, that was fun, guys. Oh uh, my god. Well, uh, that puts our time up, too. Mm, <laughs> Great oh, ending. This was such a sad ending. It was like the ending of Avengers Infinity War, where everyone died. <laughs> Oh, Most people it's so sad. But we're going to come back stronger than ever for the next battle. You got that right, guys. Yeah. We're, we're going to freaking do we're it. We're going to change up the lineup here. Yeah, and we're going to see you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys. Bye. You're still here? Well, you might as well subscribe. Okay, you can go now.